<laughs> Hello everyone, uh, it's opening day and um, just coming up the stream in the morning, it's only just the sun uh, rising over the hills and uh, I've had a bit of a walk and I've only just found the first few fish so um, yeah hopefully it's going to be a nice day, we've got some bad forecast in the afternoon so we've got to get the fishing done in the morning. Uh, the stream's up a little bit from what it normally would be, but otherwise it's fishable and uh, well spottable and just a little bit of murk on the deeper stuff. And uh, we've got a couple of fish sitting here. We've got one just on the edge on the left and there was another one who swam past. So we'll see how easy they are to catch. Um, there's meant to not be anyone in here for about three months, so uh, yeah, well, uh, no footsteps. and. We've got some guys behind us, but uh, they'll they'll catch up at some point, and then we'll take turns. But uh, yeah, hopefully it's a good day. Right on. And the ball broke. Here you go. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're going, we're going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It doesn't want to leave. Come on, bud. I don't want to fucking mix with you too much. Uh, well, I'm on the board. I had a bit of trouble at first. I sort of just kept pricking them and not hooking them and I think I ended up losing about six fish and now I've just got the last two and they were both sort of post spawners. Um, I just found a couple of fish sitting at this little hole. Uh, they're actually following each other. There's quite a nice one at the front. So uh, we'll see what goes on. They, they've just moved off of the spot where they were originally sitting but they should still be catchable. Um, probably more a little further up as well in this nice run uh, good spawning water but I haven't really seen any digging greds yet so uh, we may see some and I'll film those and we won't fish to them but yeah so I'll, I'll try and get this bigger fish there's two of them here and one of them's a bit bigger than the other so I'll have a go at him Ooh, down buddy Ooh, down Oh, 
have one right in front of us. Oh, and another one there. Take the police. No. Fussy, fussy fish, these ones. Still feeding though. This one's lying a little deeper. <laughs> yeah, got him. I got him. are all pretty much spawners now. The first few I got weren't and they were fighting like absolute demons at the start. Got another fish there and another one ahead of them. I'll we'll just try and get this one in nice and quick so we can put him back into feeding because he needs it. He's on the big fly. Right, come on, come in, come in. Yeah. Oh, did have him. Come on, no, 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 none of that. Come on, buddy. That's a bit better. Fish. It's a bit oh, he's, he's a proper fucking character, that one. Jaws a bit deformed. Alright, we'll get him going. That's a better condition one. There's another fish following him. On the good side, I think. Yeah, that's better. Dark as. Get 
Back to feeding, bud. Just sitting under the current. It's the hard thing to get them. Got them right on the nose. That's better. That's exactly where I needed it. It's perfect. I think this is the biggest one in the pool. Just watch where that line's going. You look like the best condition too. The hook's in. Just wanted to make sure. Big head chase. It's a hen, I think that's why. It is a good one. Fattest one on the pole easily. She's away. I was gonna get a shot with her with the camera, but that's all good. Well, we have a fish in very shallow water just sitting here. Um, oh, there's actually a couple, I think. Um, quite often on these opening days, you'll find them in this sort of stuff up against the banks with a little bit of cover because this guy here has a bit of cover and can smoke me in there if I'm not careful. So the drag will have to be up a bit and my indicator has to be really, really short because he's only in just over ankle deep. So I might even need to short even more. So we'll put that in there. And he just took off the top, but we're, we, uh, it would be a good candidate for a dry, but we'll uh, put a nip in. We may swap to a dry later. That's how it's done. We don't want them in there. Maybe I'll let them in. Oh, it didn't go in. This isn't skinny. I'll tear my hands apart. Right, way yo. So I've uh, added a little dropper below my dry. Um, we'll see what he thinks of it. I think he's just going to take the nymph. He's kind of looking up, but not particularly. We'll just watch that. Yeah, that was always going to happen, I think. First cast. He lined it up as soon as it touched the water. He was feeding that hard that I don't think anything would have uh, not fooled him. So, just went around the rock. More drag just so you can't take it quite as easily. That'll burn some energy. I think we've done it. Yeah. It's a nice hen. 
Get in the net, girl. There you go. Right out. That's eight, I think. Nice big girl. So I think she's dropped her eggs already. But, yeah, we'll get it going. She's mint. All right, she'll get back to feeding. After reaching the gorge, I made my way up the treacherous terrain. After bashing my way through the blackberry, I climbed up the small waterfall and made my way round to the next bend. There was a fish sitting above this almost impassable water and I made my first cast. Right, here goes. First cast, we'll put it through where he's sitting. Yeah, and I got him. Does he want to go down the, the waterfall? I don't want him to, I don't want him to. I don't think he, I don't think he, he realises what's that way. Yeah. Yeah. Not in there, please. Mucked around enough fish. And we got him. There you go, hooks out. And we've got a beautiful jack from ridiculous water. That's great, isn't it? Alright, get back to feeding, bud. That's number 10. Well, I've just made it out of the uh, waterfall, or rapids as they are. Um, just retying the rig up now, and I'm going to head uh, back to the car park. Um, probably not going to fish to too many on the way back since I've already been through, but uh, yeah, we'll see what goes on there. Um, depending on the time of day, we may just go down and uh, fish below another bridge uh, which I've found doesn't seem to get hit as hard in the morning so we'll give that a go um, if we if we don't get this rain but it's looking all right at the moment um, plenty of fish in the river I've um, I've got some guys behind me I left them plenty of fish I skipped about a K of river to get up to this other stuff um, and uh, yeah it seems to tighten up and lose fish numbers but there were a couple pools with about five or six fish in and they were, they were pretty easy to catch so some of them are just desperate for food so uh, yeah no browns they're all been rainbows and uh, I guess one I've got so far was probably over five um, that really nice hen um, what else has been going on got torn to pieces by all the blackberry up here um, out of control I wish that wasn't there. Right, I'll, uh, I'll get another couple of minutes tied on and then I'll be on my way. Right, so I've uh, run out of battery on my head camera now and uh, I've just moved uh, down a bit from where I was and uh, already landed another fish. Another nice hen, which is excellent. Um, I'll... Uh, get a good shot of her but um yeah the day's going good and i've that's this is number 11 so um i'm gonna keep going and see how many i can get um plenty of fish in this section too i've had about uh four already uh going around in circles in the pool so yeah this one jumped on on the edge of the drop off so uh, i'm gonna go back up and probably fish to the other few in there
right, just caught number 12. Very nice jack, very uh, colourful, nice and red. Um, just gotta keep going. Um, they're all over the place. Um, this guy was feeding hard out. Um, as you can see there, he's a nice one. He's probably just under four. All right, I better let him go. This fish was number 13, caught just down from the last jack. Well, safe to say this fish here, I have three down the back of the pool. There's one real nice one in there. They're all pretty dark. I have another one sitting here. He's going to be tough. Oh, it's, I think it's a hen, actually. You can't really put a cast in. She's in a little back swirl. So it's going to have to be one of these guys down here. But, um, oh, there's two chasing each other at the back. You look at that. One's got into the other one. Here they come. I think those are all jacks at the back. It does look pretty, uh, they're all very dark and the hens aren't often this dark. So, um, yeah, I'll, uh, I gotta switch the rig up a bit. Oh, that fish almost rose. Um, yeah, I gotta swap to a uh, smaller bomb because it's going to upset them if it lands. So, um, yeah, what I'm currently running is a real heavy bomb. Yeah, hang on. Here's the focus. And I've got a real little pheasant tail behind it because they didn't seem to be liking the bigger stuff. But, I've been getting all my fish on these big bombs, so it's been uh, interesting. Right, I'll get into it. I actually ended up landing three out of the four fish, which was a really good success rate. The fish weren't too bothered by the others being pulled out, so I just went back up and cast the flies back in. Well, the thunderstorm's closing in. She's pretty dark behind me. I'm now just, Jesus, it's thundering out here, and I'm holding a bloody fiberglass thing big long fiberglass conductor so that's not very good but um i'm pretty much done now i'm uh i'm gonna head out i've only got like probably a half hour walk so hopefully i don't get rained on i should maybe make it if i'm lucky but yeah it's been a real good day um i started the day off with um i actually lost seven fish in a row and uh which was uh, getting to me a bit, but I turned it around with a, a post spawner jack and then it just kept going and more and more fish showing up and um, yeah. And then after those seven, I hit 16 fish and landed every one of them. So I went 100% after I lost those seven, which is kind of ridiculous because I had no clue what was going on, it was just hot pulls and one of them dusted me and it was just all over the show, so yeah, well, I'm going to walk out, hopefully I don't get struck by lightning, touch wood, um, yeah, see you when I get back to the car, I think. <laughs> oh shit, that one was close. Well. I made it. <laughs> oh, there was honestly a pretty frightening walk in that uh, lightning. It was um, it was definitely right over the top of me. It was uh, flashing and then immediate thunder. So but I'm glad to be out of that. I got hail, land, rain on the way back, and a bunch of other things. Oh, right. So that's it for this. Uh, fishing trip it's been a real big one i've been planning it for a while 
I was meant to go somewhere else, but uh, all of this rain forecast was just sort of messing with my plans. So came to the old faithful that I know pretty well. I did. I think I did pretty damn good, honestly. Um, to bounce back from seven down to, um, I think it was 15 or 16 in the end. Uh, a couple of really good ones in there, but uh, most of them, of course, are the, the post spawners. So uh, make sure to like the video, and I'll see you guys next time.